next time. Take it away, Tom. We'll write a, we'll write a song for next time. For no, you said you would do it. Next today. time. Next time. So, hey, guys. Welcome back to a Car Ride Home. Car Ride Home. And today is... Because last week we searched it up with me and John, but this week it's back to the good old me and Dave. Yeah, thank God. What a disaster that was. <laughs> Dave was a little hurt when Talking he found out. Talking about condoms and just indecency. Ugh. Oh, wow. Yeah, just Ugh. smut. We are just peddling <laughs> smut, Dave. I thought you said you guys were sluts. So. Uh, we could be both. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so, I never asked you that question. Okay, and the last part. So, would you, would you use a... Like a brand new condom that's no, out no, of the package, never. but it's been unrolled. Never. Would you put it on? No. Why would anybody do that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe some sort of fetish. Maybe. Uh, condom fetish. I find that hard to believe. People have balloon fetishes. That's a thing. I swear to you, that is a thing. Do you have a balloon fetish? No, but I just know that balloon fetishes are a thing. How do you know? You've been to that dark I, place on the yeah, internet. I read. You accidentally stumbled there. Yeah, accidentally stumbled upon that. Thing. What? Yeah. No, apparently it's a real thing. Like a parent, like they want you to, I guess, pop balloons or something. Something about the anticipation, you know? Right. It kind of makes sense, don't you think so? It's just funny. Pop balloons on. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, that's that so, so good. good. <laughs> right there. But, <sighs> Wow, that'd be like the cheapest way to get off. Don't even need a real person. Just, just get a bunch of balloons and bother yourself. <laughs> no, but that's a thing. And you it keep saying that. I get it's a thing. Okay, <laughs> I, I keep thinking you don't believe me. <laughs> and it kind of makes sense, right? The, ta- uh, the anticipation? You know. I, there must have been some kind of weird thing during your first time or something. I don't know. Cotton pot? You're just like... <laughs> The first time you masturbated, somebody like scared you, or you like got startled. <laughs> and it was just, it was just, you couldn't get that feeling back again unless you pop a little. Reinforcing. <laughs> wow, that, that'd be a fucked up first time. Man. I do not envy people who had something like that. No. Uh, well, let's let's move on to something else. Uh, Walking Dead. Walking, Walking Dead. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I really liked it. Yeah. Up to the until I don't know. I thought I just thought it was just stupid decisions again. Yeah, you know. With Daryl and Beth. Yeah. Or Maggie and the gang. <laughs> no, Maggie and the gang was cool. I really liked uh, what's his name. The guy, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Bob I thought he was so sweet. cool now. Okay, so Bob was the guy who. When they're in that liquor store or the grocery store, yeah, he, he took the bottle. He, yeah, he was like the alcoholic. Okay, he looked like a completely different person to me. I don't know why, because he was like portrayed in such a way that made him look cool instead of a drunk. Like, well, he it was like a but he was like he wasn't like an ex alcoholic or something when he was saying, but he hasn't had a drink since then. He just like yeah. lost the temptation, but he didn't even drink that bottle. Yeah, because uh, what's his name? Daryl. Yeah, Daryl found out. Yeah, beat him up. <laughs> that was the best way to get over alcoholism. When Ness and I were watching, sorry to interrupt, but yeah. I'm taking over. Um, right. She was really upset about what happened with Daryl and Beth. Like, she like thought how she, Beth got taken yeah, away? Taken, yeah. And so do you think that they're all going to end up at that safe zone, whatever it's called? What's it called? Uh, sanctuary? Sanctuary, whatever, <laughs> yeah. I have a feeling they're all going to end up there. Yeah, is this some... Well, because we already see that Glenn's heading toward... Because at the end, you see Glenn seeing the sign, right? Yeah. That Maggie, Bob, and... Who's that other girl? I want to say her name is Serena, or like Salika, or... Salika. Sar- <laughs> so what, Whatever know. her name is. Yeah. So are they... My question is, is is she and Tyrone's sis, like siblings? Yeah. What's, that's that's so. what it is? Yeah. Tyrese. Yeah, Tyrese. Tyrone. Tyrese, Tyrone. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> so, I have a theory about Beth. I think that she wasn't, like, kidnapped or anything like that. I think that she was running outside, and then there's a guy who saw this girl alone running to I the grabbed room. her and threw her in a car and drove away. That's kidnapping, dude. No, he's, he, <laughs> he thought that she was in need of, like, being saved. So, so she I grabbed think, her... Threw her in a car without her she permission. Her. 
he, he grabbed her, yeah. threw her, threw her in his car without permission. Okay, if you just and stop that's kidnapping with game. the whole like it's kidnapping thing. How is that not kid? That's like textbook kid- kidnapping. Maybe he thought he was saving her. So maybe her, but she would have yelled at some point. Yeah, and he'd be like, "It's too late. He's gone. You can't. You can't go back for Daryl. Daryl's oh, gone." No way. Beth wouldn't be the kind of person to ditch Daryl. Yeah, but if, if you're in a car and the door's locked and this guy's like accelerating away... Yeah, kidnapping. Ugh. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, I guess, but why, why, why would she leave her stuff there? That doesn't make any sense. Like, her stuff and all the food. I don't know. So maybe the dog. Was well, like, that that oh, all get in the car. Rough. Yeah, the dog. The dog. The dog was the yeah. one who did it. Yeah, the dog's a bad guy here. Figured it out. Nice try, Walking Dead. I don't know, I have a feeling like maybe Beth got like bit or something. That would be sad. No, but but you can save it by t- cutting the leg off and yeah. turn it again. be like your dad. Yeah, like your dad. Except worse, because that would suck. Oh, Herschel. But, I still miss Herschel. Oh, so cool. Herschel. He lost a lot of weight. He, uh, I mean, the zombie apocalypse put on a, made him put on a lot of weight. Because... <laughs> Because me and John were playing the, you know, the Walking Dead series every day. It's not, I don't think that's the same Herschel. I think it's Herschel like, Green, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, it's a, yeah, it says Green, Herschel Green. That's weird. I always thought that there were two separate Herschels. Like, maybe the TV series was inspired by that Herschel, but they're not, like, the exact same person. You know? Like, I'm pretty sure that what I've heard about the TV show is that they don't do like a uh, complete mirroring of like yeah. the comic or the game kind of thing because yeah. the game came out after the comic and the yeah. TV show. But, but like, like no no TV show or movie follows like exact same mirroring, right? Yeah, but it's it's more like just the idea of the universe, and then they like do certain like things from it. Like Rick, I don't think he's a character in the comics. I haven't read the comics, so I'm not really I sure. I haven't either. I really want to, but I honestly have. I don't even know where I would start. I guess chapters? But Comic book store? There's one. We don't have one. Yeah, there's one in Granville. Oh, that place. Yeah. I remember that. That was the place me and John went to during the uh, playoffs with against the Boston Bruins. Why'd you go there? Well, we were getting bored. It was... That is so sad. But it was such a... It was like a clean sweep game. It was just... And they were... The Canucks were gonna lose and we all know it. You guys are bad boy. I never said I was a fan. Then you're just <laughs> the worst. You're the kind of guy that shows up and cheers for the other team. Just to be different. <laughs> just to be different. No. Just to get on everybody's nerves. I, I don't know. What do you think? I, I thought the Bruins, I mean, they were dirty players, but if you p- looking purely at the score, every single game the Bruins won would be like 3-0, 3-1. It would be a dominating lead. It was a classic Canuck collapse. Yeah, and the Canucks, every time they won, be like 1-0. You can blame the refs. You can blame individual players, but it was just... Uh, I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying, like, team against team. Yeah. Right? Like, let's say you didn't know any of, you didn't know any of those two teams were, or you didn't support any of those two teams. Who would, who would you bet on if you look at the first three games? It was like 5-2. Five, five, and, and The fact that Boston's an American team. Probably Boston. What? You don't like <laughs> you don't support Canadian teams or something? No, if I if I was not a fan of either oh. team and I was betting on one of the teams to win, I would bet on Boston. Really? I thought Canada had like a pretty strong No, there's some crazy stat out there that suggests that since Gary Bettman came in as the commissioner, um Canadian team hasn't won the Stanley Cup. We've been in the final like three or four times. You know, it's going to take into account, though, that there's only a couple of Canadian teams compared to a whole bunch of American teams. Yeah, well, well still, even looking at that, it's pretty impressive. The, like, at least one Canadian team always makes it in consistently, right? Well, no, it's only been, like, so there was the Canucks, and then there was Ottawa, Calgary made it to the final one year. Uh, oh, the finals. I thought you just meant the playoffs. No, the final finals. Yeah. Oh, then, yeah, it's not very often. Then. Yeah, I mean... I don't know, it's it's a professional sport, so there's always going to be conspiracy theories surrounding it. Yeah, I don't know, I, I honestly could care less about conspiracy theories either way. I mean, it, 
it can add to the game, but at the same time, you kind of ruin the game, right? Yeah. Like before, before uh, WWE was all revealed to be scripted and fake, I thought the conspiracy theories were really cool. Mm -hmm. But, but once people realized that it was fake or whatever, I thought it just kind of ruined the whole thing for me. I mean, I was never a big fan in the first place, just because, you know, Ben and tights throwing each other and. Not your thing. No, not really. No, yeah, I get that. It's really impressive the things they do, but definitely, I don't know. I just, I don't like wa watching boxing either. Just, just cause it's like. Eh. Do you ever watch Conan O'Brien? Sometimes. Have you seen his Clueless Gamer reviews? Is that the one where he plays games and just like totally sucks? Yeah. Have them. Any comments on it? Right? <laughs> he did one for WWE 2014. <laughs> That was so uh, good. He uh, got to make a character, and he made one that looked almost identical to him. Oh, really? A tall, skinny dude in a suit with orange hair. It was so funny. That's what I would do. And he was taking on The Rock, and the other guy, the kind of awkward guy, who always explains the games to him, was playing as The Rock. Yeah. And I think Conan actually beat him somehow. <laughs> it was hilarious. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I love those WWE games. They're just such, like, good party games. Because there was no health or anything, and you just could do like crazy moves, and and they had like, uh, did you did you ever play any? I played like the ones that came out in the early two thousands, but only like the demos. Oh, okay. So I get like the demo disc with the like, magazine that you go up to buy. Yeah. Gaming magazine or whatever. I can't remember. What it was. Cartridge? No, like a disc. Oh. Yeah. You get a magazine. I never got a magazine. Well, they had gaming magazines. So. Chapters, back to chapters. Oh, okay. really? Yeah, and sometimes it would come with the demo disc. Did you? Huh? Did you ever get Nintendo Power as a kid? Nintendo Power? Yeah. No. It was like a huge gaming magazine. It was back in the when N, like N sixty four was kind of like the predominant yeah. gaming system. Yeah, Nintendo Power. They like had all the Nintendo games, a bunch of reviews, and, and like a bunch of ads. It was like so cool, super colorful. It was the best thing ever. I was so excited when I, uh, what was that, the Scholastic School Bus or whatever? Oh. <laughs> Did you just say the Scholastic School Bus? Is that, isn't that what it was? Reading, reading <laughs> the book wagon? fair? No, I, no, it was like Scholastic something. We never had a book fair. Yeah. No, they would set up in the library and then you'd walk in you could pick out books and like fill out an order form yeah. and then they would send it to you. Yeah. That was yeah, that so was, cool. That's a book fair. Oh, that's what... Oh, okay. Weren't those the best? Oh, my God. I wish they still had those. Those were so much fun. They still do. Just not for people our age. Yeah, just browse. Just browsing. Yeah. Just walk in there randomly. You're, you're Don't like, mind us. Yeah, you're like six feet taller than everyone yeah. else. Yeah, I like to order this Magic School Bus book. <laughs> those were so much fun. They were awesome. I loved it. I remember John always used to get the Red Wall books. Oh, with the, the I always rap? found... Did he re does he read? Does John read? Oh, he used to. Yeah. Sometimes. <laughs> Started out with comic books, and then it kind of just went straight oh, for Redwall. Just jumped. Why Redwall? I don't know. I never got it. I never got animals fighting each other. Like, as knights. More PG, shit. right? More, 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 uh, more, you can, more E for everyone. Yeah. It's just uh, weird seeing a mouse in armor. It's kind of cool. It, I, I wouldn't say it's cool. Uh, uh, they, well, they made, like, a TV series, actually, for it. For Redwall, and then you follow, I can't remember what it was. So, it's, so it's about this mouse, right? And I think, I can't remember. I think he had to, like, go save something from an owl. Fucking owls. Yeah, terrible, Fucking terrible owls. People. Did you ever um, read that book about the bat? Silverwing? Yes. Oh, my so God. So cool. Silverwing. So what a book. Yeah, it was like Silverwing, and then it's like Nightwing or something. Firewing or something. Yeah, something like that. <sighs> the coolest thing ever. I did not like the ending, though. What about, where oh, he finds his dad. Yeah, that was really sad. Apparently, you know uh, you know how the, that, in the last book they were saying, like the bats had wing, a disc or whatever, explosive disc attached to them? No, but I'll go I'll disagree. Okay, so in the in the in the book, you know how Silverwing gets captured, and then they release them in this thing, and then a but and like a, and they attach like these discs to them, and they release them in the jungle or whatever. Is that the bus? 
that always sits in the middle of the lane? I don't know. We'll see. We're right next to him. Yeah, that's scary. I Sorry. <laughs> I totally interrupted. Yeah, come that's on. That's the bus up there. There he is. Yeah, this bus always sits in the middle of the lane. What a no prick. Reason. But honestly, Dave, are you going to argue with someone in a bus? Those buses are really tough. I'm not going to argue with anybody. <laughs> Only you. Oh. Okay. okay. That, that, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Quickly moving to the next book from our childhood. What about Artemis Fowl? No, no. I wanted to finish talking about Redwall. Okay. Or not Redwall. Silverwing. Okay, sorry. So, so they attached these discs, and like in the book, a bunch of the bats were, I guess, hypnotized, however that works for bats, and they flew into like these buildings and blew up because the discs are explosive. Apparently those are like a real U- United States project. It's called like Project X-Ray or something. Wow. Yeah, so they would attach like these explosive discs to bats, and the idea was they would fire some sort of sonar or something and direct the bats to. Did it work? Do they still do that? No, 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 they don't do that anymore. No. Uh, It wasn't very effective, but it did work to an extent. Like some of the bats would go for it, but a lot of the bats, it didn't matter to them. So they would fly off with these explosive discs, right? Never to be seen again. No, no, what ended up happening was they would, because they all dropped off in the same area or whatever, and they're all. They're, they're usually kind of like similar bats. They, they end up roosting under, like, together in, like, the areas or whatever they were released at. So there'd be, like, a bunch of bats in a group with explosive discs on them. And they would roost below things like uh, fuel tanks and stuff or oh, cars. No. Yeah, apparently, like, a lot, there was a lot of accidents because of that. Because oh. they would just blow up. That's unfortunate. Yeah. I, and I think that's that's kind of the main reason why they discontinued it, but I think that was just so crazy. So you can actually hypnotize bats? I don't think not, I don't or think it's hypnotizing, it's something to do with their sonar thing, thing, yeah. Do you think you could do that to get a bat to do things for you? Like, I doubt it. Bat, get me my toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> but it won't understand you, right? Let alone know what a toothbrush is. Okay, say you went to go buy a new bed. Yeah. And they had a bed that had a sink attached to it. Would you buy it? What's the sink for? Whatever I want? Brushing your teeth. So that when you're in bed late at night and you don't feel like walking to the bathroom, you can just brush your teeth in your bed. So And what? then you're good for bed. But then you gotta pee. But, oh, shit. Pee in the sink. <laughs> yeah, you can pee in no. the sink, babe. Where does the water go? Or is my bed in the washer? Like, like, like how am I gonna? Reservoir? I don't know. Yeah, how am I gonna? Ew, that's so. You know gross. when you're at, like the orthodontist and they have those sinks set up next to you? Yeah. That basically. Set next? No, I don't think I would. Uh, Maybe like a tap? Uh, no, I, I don't think I would. Okay. Next design thing that I was trying to. Think about. If you went skiing and there were chairlifts with fireplaces on them, how sweet would that be? Would that even work? I'm not talking about logistics. I'm oh, just saying, I was gonna in say, theory, besides being a huge fire hazard. If you were on a chairlift <laughs> with a fireplace, how nice would that be? It'd be pretty sweet. But I can't see that happening ever. You know what would be even cooler though? Too Heated cool. seats. Heated yeah, seats. That would be nice. That'd be nice. I like the fireplace better personally than just like the ambiance of a fireplace. Yeah, it'd but it'd be creepy as hell at night though. Like, you see Sweet. little fires going up? Yeah. That'd be so creepy. Good for Halloween. Yeah, no kidding. Just, no, you should be able to, like, cause different, use different gases, because they burn at different they, they burn at different temperatures and whatever, right? Depending on the gas, it can change colors. Oh, that'd be so cool. Like, Christmassy, switch it up. Make it burn, like, green and red or something. That'd be the coolest thing ever. That'd be very cool. Oh, I wish. I guess it is a bit of a fire hazard. Yeah. And, and let's say you catch on fire, you're kind of fucked because you can't even get out. Right. <laughs> Would you ever jump from one of those? No. Because it's like. I watched Frozen. I don't want to do it. What's Frozen? It's not the animated one that just came out. It's not the like, Disney cartoon? No, it's not that one. Uh, it's about these guys that go skiing and they want to go up for one last run, but the mountain's closing. It's like a long weekend. And the guy is like, okay, like, go up. I'll wait until uh, you guys come down and I'll shut down the lift or whatever. So, they go up. He gets subbed in by this other dude. Sucked in? 
subbed in, oh, like, subbed okay. out, subbed okay, out, yeah. I guess. And so the dude doesn't know or he didn't hear him that these people are on the chairlift, so he shuts it down while they're halfway up the chairlift. Okay. Basically, one guy jumps off because they're like freezing, right? It's a yeah. long weekend, so they'll be stuck there for like a week. Yeah. Oh. Okay. One guy ends up jumping, breaks both his legs. Oh. And then wolves come by. And eat him? They eat him in front of his girlfriend and his friend. And then the friend tries to climb along the wire. That's what I would do, yeah. But the wire was too sharp and started cutting through his gloves and then it was cutting through his hands. He eventually made it to the pole, got down, tried to make a run for it. The wolves ate him? The wolves got him. Okay, but there's no way that the wires would be sharp, right? You think? I don't... They're thick, aren't they? They are thick, but I didn't really get that part of it. I'm not a wire technician, so yeah, that's I can't true. tell you. I was going to say, I was I would like totally use one of my skis. Oh, it's like a... Yeah, and then, <laughs> it's like a zipline kind of deal. Down. That'd be so cool. Hit the next chair. Yeah, and just keep going and going. I mean, that's better than, you know, breaking both your legs, getting eaten by wolves, cutting your hands, getting eaten by wolves. Yeah, the wolves part would suck. I think getting eaten, eaten alive would be one of the worst ways to go. Yeah, no kidding. Oh god, yeah, that would be brutal. Or getting burned alive or something like that. So, okay, if you... Suffocating. Yeah. Suffocating. If you were to die in a zombie apocalypse, would you want to die at the start? Want to die. Or at the end? Uh, how far near the end? Like, dying for what? Okay, at, at the start or like... And what kind of zombies are we talking about Five months about down the road. I would think that at the start, you'd have a better chance of only dying? getting, like, nibbled, and then you'd just die from the fever. Oh, okay. Because there's still, like, the army, you know, like, there's shit going on. Whereas, like, five months down the road, you can just get swarmed by a pack and, like, devoured. Are we talking about, like, what kind of zombies here? Just zombies. Like, uh, day after, t or 28 Walking days later? Walking dead zombies. Oh, God, if I die, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I get how it could happen though. They could cut. They they were running actually in the at, latest one. That was kind of weird. At the start, they were running too. I, I started watching it with Ness from the start because she oh, hasn't the, seen it. Well, that little girl that Rick shoots, right? She was running. No, yeah, she was walking. Was she? But there was a couple scenes where there's zombies that were running or going pretty fast. Yeah, it's like not like 28 days later fast, but semi. <laughs> Just like a full out sprint. Or, uh, day, The Day's Ed? Yeah. I don't know. God, that'd be so scary. Isn't The Walking Dead, the first episode with Rick in the hospital, kind of a complete ripoff of 28 Days Later? Both of them get injured. Both of them wake up in the hospital. Don't know what's going on. Yeah, it's not the apocalypse. It's like the exact same. I, 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 I think uh, Walking Dead is a little more tame than 28 Days Later, though. And 28 Days Later wasn't even real zombies. It was like some sort of weird rage. Rage-induced yeah. people. So they were technically still alive. Because you could they were starving them out or something. Something weird. That would be so good. Is that uh, a chrome car? No, oh. I think it's just really black. Oh, man. I just love zombie movies. I, I've, I've, all, I've watched, like, all the big ones. I've kind of resorted to just shitty movies. Shitty zombie movies, but I still like them. Actually, there's a French one that's actually really, really good. La zombie? La whore. La whore. I, I definitely... <laughs> uh, la whore. God damn it. <laughs> you are la whore. Uh, la whore. It's, like, really, really oh, good. horde. Horde, yeah, except French. I thought French. you were saying whore. You know, French, horde, for, but French. La whore. Pause. You're in that pitch up. <laughs> Alex Burrow scored two goals! Yeah, dude, he's kind of a hockey nut. Just, just ignore him, guys. Hockey nut! <laughs> so, uh, back to where we were. La Horde. La, La Horde. It's great. It's like one of those, um, also totally recommend watching The Raid. It's some Malaysian movie, but oh my god. The Rave? The Raid. Raid. The Raid. It's uh yeah, it's like a Malaysian movie, but holy crap, just so much action, super intense. For the horde. <laughs> God damn. It's that oh oh man, back the wild days. I used to just like yell that all the time in, in chat. 
I thought it was the coolest thing. I think my new thing now is uh, Stand By For Titanfall, though. Oh, love Stand it. Stand By For Titanfall. Gonna give myself some sort of uh, Texan accent. It's gonna be great. Or Australian. Aus- <laughs> yeah, Australian. That's gonna be great. I don't even know how I would begin to do that. Mm. Not, not a very good Aussie. Mumble, I don't know, mumble your... I don't know. It's gonna say just mumble every single word so no one can understand. From my 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 So I was thinking two seconds ago that we just went to Starbucks. So yeah. the, I needed a break. I had the absolute worst class today. I had a midterm that I don't think I did very well in. I Best spent feeling ever. Oh, I spent <laughs> the whole day today studying for it. And I had studied a Just little today? bit. Just today? No, I would studied earlier in the week. And I spent about an hour or two on a PowerPoint that she had put up on the internet. And I didn't realize, because I wasn't looking at the study guide, that she had taken that chapter off the test. So I didn't have to study that chapter. And that was the one that I would put the most work into up until this point. And this is at 12 o'clock today, so I basically had three hours to learn the other two chapters of PowerPoint and all that stuff. Wow, really? It didn't go well. Holy shit. I, I for sure passed. Like, I assume that I probably got 65 plus. Uh-oh. But that's not really what you want to what you want to strive for. 65? Oh. Some people strive for a pass. Yeah, I think that's going to be the case with this course. It's tricky. Anyway, so I had the exam. And then afterwards, we had a group discussion. And since I was studying for the exam, and I had a presentation last last week, a paper due yesterday, I just didn't have time to read the article. So I didn't. And (laughs) this guy that sits next to me, Andy, nicest guy ever. Very friendly, very chatty, very knowledgeable. He was, uh, we were both kind of working on this group project together, discussion together, because you got to hand in your discussion at the end of the class, you have to answer five questions. Yeah. So it was basically him reading the article and then just kind of saying things and I would just write it down and form it into sentences. Wow. But uh, those, those are so awkward. I hate uh, that. Anyways, so we were dredging through that and then this girl sits down next to us and she's like, oh, like, is it just you two? Like, do you mind if I join you guys? I don't have a group. And I was like, yeah, for sure. And so she sits down and she plops down this stack of paper stapled together that has just notes, notes and notes and notes on the article. Nice! Like, she is fucking ready to go. And so, I was just, we are all kind of sitting there awkwardly for a couple minutes reading the article, and then I turned my computer over and I was like, oh, hey, like, this is what we've come up with so far. Uh, if you want to have a read and maybe see if that's what you have to. Wow, big mistake, you big mistake, Dave. Never no. show them your cards. Honestly, it was hilarious. She was reading it, and then she was kind of like, taken a while to read it and then I went back and took a look at it and I realized that I hadn't actually formed the real sentences yet so it was just a whole bunch of like messed up words (laughs) and she's looking at this being like oh shit I've joined the wrong yeah I fucked up (laughs) no she was really nice about it though she had a couple other things to add and then there's one question that the entire class was stuck on so the prof went over it a little bit more and then Andy got it so he was going through everything. I bet you, she, with the class I did, she's like, she could not get out of there fast enough. Totally, yeah. <laughs> I, I thanked her about a million times. I, I said to both of them, I was like, honestly, like, I have not read this article. It's really embarrassing. I wish I had that time to but... <laughs> oh, Dave, 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 Dave. Come on, Dave. What? That is a big mistake. Why? What you do, especially when you know you haven't prepared for anything, that's like one of those group work things, all and so and like the fact that she came up and joined you guys, and, and the fact she had like a shit ton of notes. Make a comment, be like, "Oh wow, you like took a lot of notes." Like, and just say, "Oh, what what are your thoughts for now?" And just build it off her. So you make her show, you know, tell you everything first, and then if, honestly, if you can't really think of anything else. That's so obvious. No, it's so you just, obvious. Yeah, whatever. And then she like, I'd rather just be straight up with them and say. Fuck me, basically. I'll do all the I'm writing. I'm a douche. <laughs> I'll submit it. I'm sorry. That's the way it is. Oh, my God. See, I think people... If you say, oh, I basically got the same thing. I think people 
people are more likely to accept that than just straight up like, oh, I didn't do it. So it's, you know, run me through everything. No, that's not what I was saying. I wasn't no, saying no. run me through no, everything. No, but, but kind of, though. It's kind of the same idea, isn't it? I guess it is, but I think the fact that if you come out and say it in the right way, then people understand. Everybody's been there where they've had that situation where they just didn't have time to do it or they forgot about it kind of thing, right? Like, everybody's had that situation. And if you if you put it to them in the way that they can sympathize with you, then it's perfect. <laughs> Man, you're tugging at our heartstrings, Basically, eh? <laughs> master manipulator. Right yeah. here. I know how this shit works. Okay. Borderline psychopath. Are you? My brother... Actually, my brother called me a sociopath yesterday. Or, no, two days ago. You're not a sociopath. What, what is a sociopath? Sociopath? Yeah. It's basically a psychopath. That's what I would say. Okay, so what's a psychopath? You just know regard for the personal, like, safety of others. It's all about your success, your life, get the next thrill, that kind of thing, right? Have you played MMOs with me, Dave? <laughs> okay, so maybe your, your online persona is a little <laughs> bit that way. But in person, you're not, you're not a sociopath. Well, because I can be a sociopathic person. Because I get judged by society. If you want to be a sociopath, you should actually call it a sociopath instead of a sociopath. What if I'm manipulating you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> what if? <laughs> what was that word that you couldn't say the other day? Cinnamon? Cin- fuck. <laughs> not that word, I know that for sure. Uh, cin- cinnamon. Cinnamon? I think it was when we were doing the Titanfall Let's Play. Stand by for Titanfall? Yeah, who knows. Let's talk about Titanfall now. Yes. Now that it's out. So, yeah. So, launch day, me, John, and Dave did uh, about an hour playthrough with it. Yeah. So, catch that. It's coming up as soon as, uh, you know, we wait 55 hours for the videos to fucking render. Somebody, honestly, I think John was, was going to do it because... I'm not going to have my computer on for 55 hours plugged in. <laughs> I don't think it's happening. It's just not, not going to happen. That's unreal. 55 hours? Holy shit. So strange. I, I, I the, just, other, the other Let's Plays that we've done, absolutely fun. Are you sure you just exported it wrong? No, I triple triple checked it. Made sure that it's right. Man, I'm going gonna, gonna to check the um, recorder settings on our little gadget as the recorder. Yeah. Well, it's like spinning off that, I just can't imagine what, uh, like, companies like Pixar, and where they have to, where they make, like, a 3D animated movie, yeah. I cannot imagine what they would have to go through. That's why it takes so long, man. They oh, probably totally. have super powerful computers, too, that just do it like that. Yeah. I hope so, because I would, like, pull my hair out. Maybe work a scene, work on, like, a 10-minute scene every two, three months. That'd be, excuse me, brutal. Back to Titanfall. Yes, Titanfall. Went... Oh my god. So apparently Xbox Live was down for a while yesterday. It crashed? Yeah. Really? And Michael was telling me that he couldn't log on to the game. <laughs> and he was probably the most excited person out of anybody for Titanfall. I was pretty excited. I just don't show excitement, dude. Sociopath. <laughs> Check that box. Basically Dexter is a sociopath. Psychopath. Sociopath. Yeah. Anyways, um, back, back, back to Titanfall. Anyways, yes, back to Titanfall. Which was strange, because I had had absolutely zero problems with it yesterday. <laughs> Are you sure he just didn't have problems? No, it was it was well cited on the internet. I don't know. We had no problems when we did ours. Yeah. No lag, nothing. It was perfect. It was lagging last night. Was I it? I'll say that, yeah. That's I was, why I missed those sniper shots. I, I played for a couple times. Or couple hours. <laughs> yeah. I'm level 30. Quote, now. unquote, two hours. <laughs> there's there's an achievement <laughs> where if you get to level 50 hard? by the end of March, you get an achievement called Early Adopter. And I really want it. Oh my god, Dave. I'm, level, I'm already level 30. It's okay, another 20 no, level. It's no, fine. No big deal. Was that prestige in that game? Or was that not? I'm not sure. I, You know, it's funny. As good as that game is, there's a bunch of stuff that's missing. That I could totally see that they would implement in like Titanfall 2. Yeah, <laughs> they need to figure out the campaign thing because the way they did this this round just didn't do anything for me. Like it was kind of cool, but it was just already since it's immersed in that just attrition or 
domination or whatever kind of game mode. Yeah. You're so focused on the immersive gameplay that you have no idea what's going on around you. Like, there are things that pop up and say, oh my god, like, blah, 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 just happened. You have to do this. Blah. Win the war. Uh, like, that kind of thing, right? Oh, it's just but annoying. There's just so much going on that you just don't pay attention to. I did it at least. Maybe some other people did, but I, I was so immersed. I, I really like the way they had bots and stuff in there. Just because you feel like you're constantly doing something. Well, yeah, it's just, yeah, that's, that's in the game play, yeah. totally. Like, yeah, I, bots are I great. hated, I hated COD when you're running around for half the game and you can't find anyone. Yeah, totally. Especially when you're playing, like, uh, hardcore games where you only have one life. Yeah. And it just ends up being, like, two people looking for each other the whole game. It sucked. I started using the smart pistol last night. It's so good. I don't get why you guys hate the it. fuck just happened? What? The light just went red and then it, and turned, it turned green. green. Yeah, perfect timing. Weird. Yeah, yeah, smart pistol's that's awesome. That's great. It just Especially sucks against real play. When you get the burn card for the smart card, or s smart pistol, it's a. Uh, Is it burn card? And smart pistol. Oh my it's god. It's so good. It's. Oh my god. It's amazing. It aims for you. There's, it does not get better than that. You know, I've actually found that if you use the the cloak ability, yeah. smart pistol's awesome for killing people. Yeah, because you just sneak so close. So good. I find it takes a long time to like lock onto the players, though. Because you need like four or five logs before you can actually kill it's, them. It's three. It's three? And it, it, takes, it takes forever. Yeah, it takes a while to get it. But there's a perk that you unlock after you kill X amount of grunts or whatever that reduces the amount of time that it takes to lock on somebody. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's, it's nice. But the big thing that I thought it was missing was character customization. Because the way that the menus are set up is just like pictures. Yeah. And I would have liked to see like 3D models of characters, like, like oh, when you change the weapons and stuff. Call of Duty Ghosts, where like you can change all the armor and all that kind of stuff, you <laughs> unlock different helmets and all that shit. So you can oh and yeah, attain certain ranks. Like that, that just keeps me coming back. But I can totally see Titanfall is gonna be one of those games where I'll just log in and play like three or four games, just just because it's fun. You know? Yeah, that's I don't know. That's that's kind of what I do for shooters personally. Yep. Yeah. I'm not that good, and I can only play the sniper. Wow. I can snipe or melee, and that's literally it. Yeah. Or, or Mealing's fun. <laughs> Mealing's great. I think it's really slow, but like compared to COD with the knives. Yeah. Because the knives are un unreal. But I guess it's kind of fair that the melee is a little bit slow, but even though it's a guaranteed kill. Yeah, I think that they focus so much on making this gameplay revolutionary that they kind of dropped <coughs> the campaign, the customization, and all that other kind of stuff into a secondary position because they just wanted this to be a standout game as far as gameplay goes, right? Yeah. And they've totally achieved that because it really is. That genre had gotten so stale. It sucked, yeah. Call of Duty Ghosts, it was basically Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but it's a little bit slower. With dogs. Yeah. <laughs> and. Huh? Just that whole that <laughs> genre hasn't changed in so many What do you think years. about, like, Battlefield, though? Battlefield I find too complex. I find it a little bit overwhelming. Wow. But that's just me, because I'm not a big shooter fan, personally. Yeah. I just find that with all the different layers, I get too distracted. I was going to say, if you think Battlefield 4 is too complicated, wait, wait until you see uh, Arma 3. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, me and John are going to start playing it soon. Once my, once my new computer comes in, I'm yeah. so stoked. Because <laughs> they're like, it's it's made for military simulations just on the computer, right? Yeah. Like, when I first bought it, I joined a game, and mm. there's no classes, you just join different squads, and like, depending on which position you're in the squad, they give you a certain loadout. <laughs> and they also restrict, like, maybe in a big game, there's only two sniper squads. Mm -hmm. So and that, once those spots are filled, that's it. You can't play them unless oh. someone moves. So it's kind of like a real army kind of deal. And people were so intense. There was like designated chopper pilots, and they would. And you know how most games with uh, vehicles and stuff, people just take it, run off, mm -hmm. you never see them again. Mm -hmm. But this one, but like an Arma, oh my god, the guys like, is everyone on? Blah blah blah. Like making sure that no one's left behind. It's it, it was amazing. Do they use like army lingo? Yeah, some of them do. Delta like, Beta Bravo, Tango that, Charlie. That means jack shit. Dude, do I look like I know anything about the army? Oh, I, I know my phonetic alphabets. Like, yeah, you were in Air Cadets. Yeah, well, I don't know. I had to learn it when I got my pilot's license. In Air Cadets. <laughs> so what? Was I in Air Cadets? No. This guy is following me. The 
following me since the highway. It's me <laughs> out. Well, you've been keeping an eye on him, eh? Do you think he's gonna turn? Fuck, he turned. Jesus, quick, we're gonna get take killed. Take left, quick left, quick left. Don't I, drop. Dave, can we just circle around the block in my house? I, I don't <laughs> want to know where he. Li- I don't want him to know where I live. <laughs> Oh, is he He's follow? still following us. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Dave, let's do a circle. <laughs> I'm scared. How, like, why did I notice that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he's just, like, paranoid. I'm super paranoid about ghost cars and all that kind of stuff. Why would he fall? No way, no way. Oh, no, he's turning, he's turning. Oh, fuck. Oh, thank, thank God. Thank God. I almost wet myself. <laughs> little peek. Yeah, a little peek came out. <laughs> <laughs> No, like the phonetic alphabet's only it's for the radio. So you know like the radio's unclear, it fucks up sometimes. Alpha beta, Charlie. Okay, What's stop D? stop saying Delta. T is tango. No D. D? Delta. What's E? Echo. What's F? Foxtrot. G? Golf. H. Hotel. Really? Yeah, hotel. I. India. R. R uh, Romeo. K. Kilo. A. Alpha. What's it Z? <laughs> Zulu. Yeah. You passed my test. Yes. Good job. I trust you. Well, I we'll talk you. about... So, basically, the whole th- point of that is, so, you know, the radio is unclear, static key? Yeah. It's basically, when you use it to say letters, right? It's just so, like, you get interference or whatever. People can... They're, like, distinct words that you can separate from uh, each other. Oh, right, right. So. I see. That's the whole point. Mm. Anyways, I'm home now. That's another week. In the wrap. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe. I guess we could do another one tomorrow. Yeah. Let's, let's record one tomorrow. See what, which one's better. Or we're, we put all of them on there. The best. All, all. I feel like two a week is a lot. Whatever. I mean, we're doing it anyways. Might as well put them up, right? Might as well have an argument while we're <laughs> yeah, still recording. Well, all right. <laughs> have a good one, guys. See you next time. We need to work on an intro. Outro. Oh, I'm still the fuck.